make sure we're coming in live and there we are nice 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 hello everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is february 1st 2021 wow 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 who thought we were going to be here doing comic book readings and that is what we're going to be doing today I picked out uh, five comic books in the last batch of comics that we're doing reading for and we got two left to do we're gonna do one today we're gonna do one tomorrow and it's uh, gonna be sort of we're gonna run a poll again to see which one we're gonna read today and which one we're gonna read tomorrow um, or we might I should have just brought a coin to flip right <laughs> because today and tomorrow we're gonna get these two done right and then after that we're gonna pick uh, five more comics and we'll introduce five new comics. Some of them will be from um, our comic book reading set number four that we put out, uh, that we picked 32 comics that we we're going to read and slowly, and I think I, you know, we picked those comics out in 2018, maybe three years ago, probably now. And we've been slowly knocking them off. And we've done a lot of those readings actually. And, um, we're just going to continue doing what we're doing right pick five comics most likely three will be from that reading set and two will be just random from comic halls that we've picked up so we get to get a chance to read some of the comics that we're seeing in the comic book halls right now until notifications goes out uh, while we wait for notifications to go out sometimes they're quite slow i'm gonna let you guys know what this is all about I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything is Creative Commons and layered on mathematics. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for your support, gang. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, when people start coming, it's going to appear here. If notifications go out, if not, we're just going to do a nice little reading. Just us, right? Uh, and I guess notifications are up. Rage, laugh out loud. Hello, hello, Lions. How are you doing? Putin Roaster. Hello, hello, Felix. How are you doing? wow four people dropped right at the same time i'm assuming notifications are out guess bomb how are you doing yeah people are rolling in ba -ba 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 -ba. guess bomb hello hello good morning gang hope you're doing well hello from greece hello greece how are you doing i've had some good greek friends over the years that i've been to greece it's a fun place to be man fun place to be carbon carbonate and shrew carbon carbon carbonate and shrew how are you doing welcome to a comic book re reading scamalissi comics comics yo tyson young tyson not yo tyson young tyson how are you doing uncharted days hello hello hope you and chat are having a great day indeed indeed hope everyone's having a great time cheryl how are you doing hi hi chicho hi all so ready for comics me too wow um, i'm liking uh setting up the strings where we're doing we're either starting off light and ending heavy or starting heavy and ending light and it's after this one it feels really good to be ending with comic books <laughs> this set of streams anyway lonely piggy how are you doing what's up how are the kittens treating you very very well i remember having trouble sleeping in the early early days uh, uh, for us for some like one night they they were really restless in the middle of the night but the way it's working out i give them a workout when they wake up and they wake up with me in the mornings early morning and then at nighttime, I give them a nice workout. And then I let them do their own thing and they pass out around maybe 12 or so. And that's about the time, you know, I pass out sometimes, usually, generally, right? So usually our sleeping pattern is we're at bed by 12, one o'clock in the morning and up and about by around five, 5.30. I, I, I have, I sleep like a cat, I guess oak 
Oki, Oki, Oki One, how are you doing? How's life? Ken Wolf, hello, hello from India. Hello, India, how are you doing? Welcome to a live stream. I'm in Vancouver, or sorry, Victoria, west coast of Canada. Hope you guys are doing well. Good, I like comics, me too. Carbonite, oh man, I should have known that. Carbonite shrew, I hope you are good. I am, I am. Thank you very much for the correction. If I'm spelling, if I'm pronouncing people's names incorrectly, please let me know, okay? Uh, I'm trying to improve the way I pronounce names, as you know, when dealing with comic books. Felix, I've been having a pretty rough time in quarantine here in the UK. These last streams are really keeping me going. So thank you, Chicho. My pleasure, Felix. And yeah, some part, parts of the world, the lockdowns are pretty, pretty ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. But we'll leave that on politics uh, streams, rage, blah, blah, blah. All snowed in today. Wow, wow good time to sit back and enjoy a comic book stream awesome i'm actually missing the snow i hope we do get some snow here we haven't yet it's been a mild winter uh but i wouldn't mind getting some snow and i want the kittens to see snow to see what they're gonna be like elder god how are you doing yes it's been a hard time for me as well yeah it would be a hard time for me if i was in the uk as well cheryl me too for comics message deleted young tyson you posted something nasty <laughs> within the hojo I, I don't even know i keep on forgetting how to pronounce your name Weden. Weden. hi chicho and chat it's a while ago i got to a stream how are you and the cats they're doing fantastic super fun they're having a snooze now they just passed out again about half an hour ago i have a shiba inu who's loving the snow right now haha <laughs> nice I haven't seen snow since 2017 really i just meant i i just put message deleted oh i just put message deleted <laughs> funny dang bubber how are you doing i just captured the video video game moment i will be sharing someone shot a rock at a titan this is attack and titan titan which tied their health in the last millisecond of the round making it a draw literally photo finished unbelievable frame perfect haha <laughs> tf2 gang i do announce these last streams 30 minutes before we go live uh titanfall 2 last standing okay cool i do announce these live streams uh 30 minutes before we go live on minds lo vk gap parlor when it comes back online and twitter and we do have a discord page that people are sharing information and if you join the discord channel as soon as we go live discord should be sending out a notification that we are live what are we reading today we're reading headline comics either we're reading there's two choices headline comics from 1947 headline comics number 27 cover by jack kirby and joe simon okay and art by bill Drut, and it's sort of a gangster comic book and superman uh superman's girlfriend lois lane number 70 i believe from 1966 and it's the first silver age appearance of catwoman and we're going to run a poll we're down to two we got to run a poll to see which one we're going to read or read be right back young tyson says this message was blocked by fact checkers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Felix Chicho, have you caught up on Attack on Titan? I'm on episode four of this season. Oh, I'm loving the perspective they're giving. And it reveals so much. So good. Do not watch this last episode if you haven't watched everything else before. And I, and I by the way, I rewatched the last, starting from episode six, of season three so i rewatched two uh two three no a uh, three quarters of season three to remind myself what was going on so i could watch this season so i did a rewatch of all those episodes again <laughs> i remember you saying you prefer dubbed which came out a few weeks ago so far it's the best season it's it's fantastic i the, even the first season was fantastic like to me it was like what the hell is going on the first time the titans attack you're like oh my god right jack kirby is a beast a beast indeed jack 
How are you doing? Jack Lescovar. Hiya, Chicho. Good to see you. Hey, chat. Good to see you as well. Dragons. Damn, Chicho. Got the uh, Carrie Fisher pinky nail. <laughs> I, <knew. laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> Man, that episode last night needed some time to think after. I I'm on episode four, so please don't give any spoilers, gang. Please don't. I I'm watching the dubs, right? So the dubs are a little delayed, I'm guessing. Uh, I think they're up to episode six or seven, but I'm not finding the dubs. Uh, so there's a little delay in the dubs, I believe. So I'm on episode four. Please don't give any spoilers, please. Okay. Lonely Piggy, Attack on Titan keeps increasing in absolute madness, and I'm all for it. As a manga reader, I'm loving I as 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 someone who appreciates the arts and la loves science fiction and human imagination and what we're capable of and where we can take a story absolutely brilliant felix i read the manga last week i promise you that when we get to the end of the season you'll <laughs> Man, a fork lip to lift. <laughs> no, 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 don't say it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm not going to read any more Attack on Titan uh, comments. Hey, I'm new. Man, see your great system without story. I uh, look forward to the stream. Awesome, awesome. Milsey, welcome to our live stream. And system without rocks, man. Rocks. Sorry, sorry, what your attack on Titan, Elder God? Super good, man. You'll love it. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. Any attack on Titan fans in here? Yeah, please. I lost chat history. Yeah, attack on Titan, Elder God. Super good. But man, it's such a good show. It only goes up in quality. Season four is, yeah. I'm, I ain't reading no more attack on Titan stuff, man gang for the live streams where we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video to sensor tube to bit shoot to rumble and if we had enough points to uh odyssey okay and what i did last time with the reading that we did for solar man of the atom number 10 and it was a fantastic reading what a comic book right that was the last uh comic book reading we did i just cut out the reading segment and i uploaded that to youtube and bit shoot right now i haven't released the full uh video live stream of that and i will at some point okay but i'm assuming for this one as well what i'm gonna do is um I'm gonna cut out the segment where we're doing the reading and just upload the reading part and then when i you know if i if i have a little bit downtime maybe during a little mini bill hicks break i'll upload the full live streams just to keep the content going on these four platforms and if you want to catch everything that we're creating uh that we're putting out you want to join bitshoot and rumble that's where i'm uploading everything that we're doing here on twitch okay if you want your chicho content censored so no politics okay no current events aside from anything related to julian assange and wikileaks right because that's going to go everywhere so if you want to stay away from the current events and politics then sure censor tube is a good place to be even though i do put out little segments little teasers in there okay and odyssey we just need more coins to be able to upload there i just couldn't get it hooked up for me to upload anymore uh you know buy coins and stuff like they just wouldn't link up with the phone and all that jazz uh trinkus trink hoss trink hoss thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate it i'm gonna take these things down again and let me look cheryl chicho i have my laptop and can run the poll if you like yeah for sure Cheryl, uh, gang, we're gonna run a poll for two comics. Headline Comics number 27 from 1947, prize publications. We bought this during a comic book haul in the last couple of months, two or three months, okay? This comic book plus uh, number 40, uh, 74 of Headline Comics, okay? 
cost us $66 Canadian, $52 US, and the majority of that was for this one. Okay, Headline Comics 27. It was graded at four, okay, which is pretty good grade for a comic book from 1947. The cover is by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. So the ink, so the pencils are Jack, um, Jack Kirby and the inks are Joe Simon, and the artwork is done by Bill Drute, uh, Drought. Okay, and it's a sort of a crime drama, and it's a story. Uh, the main story, anyway, is about Stella Mae Dixon, sort of a Bonnie and Clyde team. That's the wife, and I guess the husband somewhere. Uh, could be that one. I don't know if it's that one or not. <laughs> I don't know them. So it's sort of a Bonnie Clyde thing, right? So it's a crime drama that uh, we're going to take a look at. And we're going to do a comic book reading today and one tomorrow. So both of these are going to be read either today or tomorrow. And this one here is Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 70. Okay. And this came out in 1966, and it's the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman, right? Which is pretty trippy because Silver Age began in 1956, right? So for like 10 years, there was no Catwoman, which is very trippy. And here's a little kitty cat with the Superman cape, right? And the artwork for this is uh, the cover is Kurt uh, Sch uh, Schoffenberger. Okay, apologies but brutalizing the name. And the story is uh, Leo Dorfman. There's a whole bunch of people that uh, worked on this. There's uh, multiple stories in this, I believe. But basically, Henry bon Bontaleff, Ventaleff, Bob uh, Oxner, Carmen Infantino, uh, Ir Irv Novak, and a lot of these people. The Leo Dorfman he worked on a lot of DC books a lot of Superman related books okay so these are the two comics that we have and we're gonna run a poll we can do a two-minute poll I guess and decide which one is gonna win for us to read and Cheryl I'm assuming anytime you want you can run the poll okay. Trinkhaas hi Chicho how are you doing today doing fantastic Thank you very much for asking and thank you for the twitch prime sub gang the poll is up we got two comics to choose from we got headline comics number tw uh, 27 from 1947 and we got the superman superman's girlfriend lois lane number 70. i should have brought a coin just in case there's a tie so we can flip a coin okay headline comics has got three votes right now and lois lane is down is only two votes right now okay so whichever gets the polls uh wins the poll today is going to be the reading today and the other one we're going to read tomorrow okay headline comics is four lowest latest four what are the odds of a tie <laughs> hilarious hilarious so we got headline comics at four lowest lane at four that's where we're sitting out right now gang that's where we're sitting out right now comic books comic books on try today's oh wait i have I have watched some of it, but a while back, Aldergaard says. So we got headline comics at six votes right now, and Lois Lane is stuck at four. Headline is at seven. Headlines, headlines, headlines going ahead of the heap. Headlines going ahead of the heap. We got about half. We got about a minute, about forty-five seconds left. Left. Lois Lane is at five votes right now. We got seven and five. Seven and five. We'll see where this goes. I'm saving my vote to the end. We can't have a tiebreaker. We gotta, we gotta get one of these done. I didn't bring a coin here, right? We got seven votes and five votes. Seven and five. We got seven and six. Oh my! I remember last time someone did a, a last-minute vote to make things a tie. <laughs> we got eight votes for headline comics. Eight votes. Golden age of comics. We got about 10 seconds left, gang. Seven votes for Lois Lane. Gang, I'm throwing my vote. I'm throwing out my vote. Headlines got nine. Lois Lane's got eight. Oh my god. Headline takes it. Headline takes it. Nine votes, eight votes. Lois Lane, Catwoman, you're gonna be doing we're doing a reading of this one tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Who was the sneaky little bugger that was putting in the vote at the end to tie things up? <sighs> Make sure those cutie kittens are locked up. Yeah, they, they're sleeping right now, so we should be good. They should, we should be good. 
Anyone not voting for headline is a traitor. <laughs> Alagon says, "Oh wow, I could, I could go either one of this one. Me too." Cheryl says, "Ready? I'm behind the chat, of course. Vote with your conscience. Vote with your conscience." Lois Lane, super kitty for the win. Headline comics. Oh my! I know Cheryl it was so close. I thrown my vote. I threw it for headline. Had to be done. Had to be done. Must be the tiebreaker. Next time, I'm gonna bring coins, gang. We're gonna flip. We're gonna bring dice. Maybe dice would be better. Just in case it's a three-way tie, right? Uh, close race. I'm gripping my seat. Whew, Cheryl says, <laughs> "Elder God, about half in time." Elder God's been voting for this for like five streams now, right? The election was rigged. The election was rigged. It was. I, the, I, I'm, I'm an insider voting, right? This is so much better than going to work. Awesome, awesome. Reading comics is always better than going to anywhere. Stop the steal. <laughs> and it's all electronic. <laughs> Where's Diebold? Right? Hilarious. Gang, let's do the reading. I'm going to turn off notifications. I'm going to turn off the chat. And I'm going to turn off this camera wait for the mail-in votes yeah wait for the mail-in votes at i think 2 2 p.m everybody votes for the other one <laughs> hope this is a good one hope so too i think it should be pretty good the cover is beautiful and golden age comics are you know what most of the golden age comics we've read they've been pretty fantastic man pretty fantastic like very impressed very impressed so let's have a read through this gang let me turn everything off so we can do this guy chats off the real crime are usually quite good yeah let's do it let's do it gang i'm turning off my camera and we're gonna go with the reading Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. Today, today, today is February 1st, 2021, and we're doing a live stream reading of Headline Comics number 27 from 1947. Okay, and we just ran a poll, we had a choice between two comics, and this is the one that won. And the next reading that we're going to do is going to be uh the second comic that we had uh a choice to read which is superman's girlfriend lois lane number 70 with the first silver age appearance of that woman so that's going to be our next reading but for now we're going to read the fbi in thrilling action headline comics okay from november december right crime never pays i don't know about that i don't know about that and this is a comic book that we picked up in a comic book haul like uh, a few months ago. And uh, this comic book, uh, Headline Comics number 27, came with Headline Comics number 74. And we ended up paying $66 Canadian, about $52 US for it. And this comic book is uh, was graded at around 4.0. The seller was grading at about 4.0 and i think i believe we took a look at it we're going to take a look at it right now and decide if we agree with that grade or not which i think we will this seller we've bought before okay and i'm going to take this off and i'm going to tell you who did the cover for this uh, so we don't get the glare from the mylar on it so we get a better look of the cover and the cover for this was done by the pencils is jack kirby and the inks is by joe simon and jack kirby and joe simon are the duo that brought us well captain america plus a ton of other characters and jack kirby basically had a hand to play in creating uh, a huge percentage of the marvel characters that we enjoy today right and the artwork inside is done by uh, bill draught okay and um and i believe he did the pencils he might have done the inks as well it was difficult to find out 
who uh, everybody that worked in golden age of comics anyway who everybody is that has worked on these comic books but it's a beautiful cover indeed indeed right let's take a look see if we can get a nice focus going on this right very nice cover and the main story of this is uh based on uh, benny and stella may stella may dickinson and they're sort of depression arrow outlaw and bank robber sort of like a bonnie and clyde deal right stand back what is she saying what does she say is it really overcast here right now so the lighting that we have is uh hopefully it'll there we go stand back you sawbones i'm operating on this copper only he won't be alive after i i i give him the lead treatment <laughs> sounds like she was a real mean bugger eh she was a mean very mean beautiful cover though really all true famous detective cases right all true based on what the fbi says right and his prize publications which is a publishing company which is really sought after uh prize publications right number 27 as far as the grade goes uh indeed i would definitely agree i would even give this a little bit higher than a four personally just uh there's no breaks on the spine which is fantastic right the edges are not bad very good there's no cuts on the cover anyway nice cover nice cover there's a break here on the back which is okay a little bit of a little chunk missing here right. cut here a little chunk there four sure let's give it a four 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 point five four would be the lowest i would go on this and a muscle muscle ad and we've seen a lot of these muscle ads there's a little bit of bleaching here i don't know what it is some kind of staining or something right. sure a four okay oh there's a little chunk missing here i didn't notice that so there's a little chunk missing there sure we'll give it a four nice and tight oh look at her the bobby socks bandit queen stella may dixon check that out let's take a look at the front cover ad first advice to comic readers for bad skin so as you can tell by the way gang just from the advertisements we know who the audience for some of these books were right so a lot of these crime and uh, suspense stories and horror stories weren't really for geared towards little kids advice to comic readers for bat skin stop worrying how now about pimples blackheads and other extremely uh, extremely cost skin troubles just follow skin doctor simple direction now the skin doctor has some serious advice here right now we're not going to read all that that's pretty detailed advice about skin care right and then at the the last paragraph there it has the just mail your name and address to betty memphis care of new york skin laboratory wow right cool and there's a whole bunch of stories here i 
forget how many stories this thing has, but we're definitely going to read the first one. This is beautiful. Awesome. Let's read the, the fine print on it. And we're not going to skip through it. We're just going to read the stories as they come up. Um, maybe we'll get a chance to read everything. Uh, and if we don't, we're definitely going to flip through the whole thing. Right? Let's take a look at this. Let's read this. Headline Comics is published by monthly but American uh, Boys Comics Incorporated. A Buffalo, New York editorial and business office at 1790 Broadway, New York, 19, New York. Single copy, 10 cents, yearly subscription, six issues, 60, 60 cents in the U.S., Entered as um, that's second class, second class matter, November 25th, 1942, 1942, at the post office at Buffalo, Buffalo 3, New York, under the act of March 3rd, 1879. Entire contents, something smeared, uh, I'm assuming copyright, copyrighted 19. Uh, 47 so 1947 it came out by American Boys Comics Incorporated so that's prize comic volume 3 number 3 November December 1947 trademark registered in US a smear something right cool let's take a look at this and this artwork should be Bill Drott. Okay. So, our first story Stella Mae Dixon, the Bobby Sox Bandit Queen. Let's see what she's saying. The first one who makes a move while my husband uh, rifles the vault gets a bullet between the eyes. Get me? She says. Oh, she's tough. Tough cookie. The amazing true story of a teenage girl who terrorized the nation until the FBI stepped in. Wow, she was a teenager, eh? Nice cover. Or a nice cover, nice panel, right? Not all notorious criminals are captured in sensational and dramatic fashion. Many front page arrests attract little attention, even when they occur in full view of the public. It was early evening in Kansas City on April 7th, 1939. The object of Chuck's observant eye was a beautiful teenage girl who didn't seem at all different from any other of her bobby socks sisters bobby socks sisters some matter chuck ain't you talking the taking the check out tonight could be harry say look over there will ya read the evening polls for five cents So Chuck, eh? Let's check it out. Boy, what a number she is. You know, Harry, maybe I will be taking a check out tonight at that. Oh, wow. But as the girl approached, the street corner two men emerged from a car parked near the curb to engage the girl in conversation looks like you're too late chuck well how do you like that for break who are the guys they look serious oh wow you can't you can't work fast fast enough for good lookers chuck there's always two other guys ahead of you this certainly proves you're right harry 
she's getting in the car with them oh well the golden age yeah zoom the car drives off there she goes gosh if I'd only been a little quicker on the uptake don't don't ball Chuck Chuck these guys must have been waiting for her she probably had a date with them Harry was right in a way the men had been waiting for the girl but they were FBI agents for the girl did have a date but it was with the justice Chuck and Harry were unaware that they had witnessed one of the most widely discussed incidents of 1939 the capture of Stella Mae Dixon the Bobby Sox bandit Queen youthful public enemy taken into custody by FBI the paper reads get your paper read all about it G men capture Stella Mae Dixon extra love that face look at that love the hat ah oh, she's behind bars she doesn't look happy she looks mean look at that yes this unspectacular action by the FBI had brought to to an end one of the most most amazing carry careers in criminal history this 17 year old girl hardly more than an adolescent was considered as dangerous and destructive as the most hardened of the nation's public enemies Stella's fantastic story began in a roller skating rink in the summer of 1937 when she was just Stella Mae Irwin and only 15 years old say you're great with those skates how about a few fancy turns together the name's Benny Dickens Dixon okay I don't see why not it might be fun she says Benny Dixon that's the guy eh? An evil star must have uh, shone brightly that night. Benny Dixon and Stella Irwin have found each other. Being mutual types, they found themselves in a whirlwind romance. Gosh, I wish this place wouldn't close so early. I could skate until morning, Stella says. Like the egg kid, Benny says. mind if i see you home baby i got my bus outside what do you say stella says i like you benny you're different from most fellas i know you're good company shall we go oh -ho. benny was different benny was different and stella soon found out why from his own lips how do you like this new car baby I got it for the for the anniversary of our fifth date together this is an awfully expensive car Benny how can you afford it she asks listen baby a smart operator can get anything he wants snatching this convertible was only a little little thing compared to what I what I could get for you Benny you mean you stole this car Stella says don't act surprised baby you're thrilled and you know it you're just like me you want money clothes and excitement well stick with little Benny I'll show you how to get all that the easy way he says but Benny aren't you afraid of the police I'm too smart for him I tell you always a step ahead I'm no amateur 
I've served time, the pen, I know the ropes, he says. It wasn't long before Stella was going steady with 27 year old Benny. Stella, I got to blow town fast. As soon as I'm, I'm set up, I'll send for you. Make it soon, Benny. I'm going to miss you, she says. Not long after, Stella joined Benny in California. It's so nice be being with, with you again, Benny, she says. It's great to see you, baby. Come on, we're going to get hitched first thing. Wow, they're going to get married. Look at that. Looks like he picked her up from a train station. Imagine that California judge saying we were you were too young to be married. Well, we'll head for my parent parents summer home in Minnesota and get spliced as soon as we arrive. So the judge didn't marry them. Benny, Benny did marry Stella in his parents' home. His father, a high school teacher, offered Benny the opportunity to study. But young Dixon possessed a restless spirit. Ah, uh, this studying business is pretty dull. It bores, bores me stiff, he says. Forget that old book and give give baby a great big kiss <laughs> you know Benny this place is awfully quiet I'm getting to feel like I'm buried alive say I've got an idea to break the monotony what do you say to some uh, target practice You mean shooting with guns she says sure I'll make an any Oakley of you in no time at all Benny says where where are you children off to the father asked we're going to do a little hunting pop Stella and I use some could use some fresh air this guy's his hand, hunting hats on but instead of hunting Benny taught Stella the use of a firearm and Stella brought reality reality to Benny's predictions she proved to be an Annie Oakley a dead shot with a gun there's six six there's six bullseyes bam good shooting Stella now let's see what you can do with the rifle wow all of them dead center you're natural baby you've got talent baby real talent and little Benny's going to plan big things for us both oh Benny I'm so thrilled she says Benny wasn't kidding he began formulating plans almost at once it wasn't long before he told Stella about them baby I've lined up the little bank in Lex Lecton South Dakota think you're ready for a crack at it sure Benny that would be fun but aren't you afraid with the police record you have she asks I learned all the angles I learned all the angles while doing time in the Missouri pen kid we won't we won't miss okay Benny what do you want me to do she says
couple of lovebirds. Gangster lovebirds. On August 25th, 1938, the day before Stella's 16th birthday, she set off disguised in male attire with her with her husband to take part in her first crime. Wait here, baby. I'll be right out. Be careful, Benny, she says. There's the bank right there. This is a stick up. Open your wall vault and get that dough out we can't the vaults on a time clock time lock and won't open for another half hour the guy says that's all right i'll wait oh my but the first one who tries any tricks gets hurt bad benny says Stella became worried when Benny didn't reappear on time. She decided to check on the situation. Benny, what's wrong? Got to wait for the time clock. Help me cover these fish, Benny says. The bandits waited 30 minutes as new patrons came in they were added to the growing group of prisoners. The vaults open. Keep them covered while I clean house, Benny says. Okay. Okay. All of you, get inside the vault quick. You heard what he said. Get moving. She says, the guy's got it. Benny's got the bag of money. Fool hardy, hardy as their 30 minute delay seemed, Benny and Stella escaped arrest and made their getaway to a farm in Minnesota belonging to a relative of Benny's. The robbery victims were later rescued from the vault where they almost suffocated. How did we do? Stella asks. How did we do? Not too well, baby. 2000 one hundred seventy four dollars and sixty four cents still in the counts but the rob bank had been insured by the federal deposit insurance company which brought the crime to the attention of the fbi benny and stella had committed a federal offense you can rest assured sir that will have those two in custody in good time our agents are already at work on the case the FBI agent says meanwhile Benny and Stella went to Detroit Benny bought a car and Stella some new clothes on their way back Benny completely wrecked the new sedan near Os Osage, Osage City crash the car is out of control out of control look out the lucky pair miraculously escaped with their lives however Benny and Stella soon had another car they stole it in Kansas City say this bus runs smoother than our last car baby better keep your eye on the road or it'll end up the same way Benny she says The Dixons were inactive for a while. Then, on the morning of October 31st, 1939, they appeared appeared in Booking, South Dakota. Now, baby. Good. He's just opening the bank. She says. Into the back of the bank, Pop. No peeps. Now, or I'll croak you she says i'll stay here and nail the other clerks as they come in 
Benny says. When the last clerk to report for work entered the bank, he joined the others under the steady muzzle of Stella's gun. Here's the last one, Benny. Swell, I picked up two grand rifling these cages. But this is small change. When does the vault open, mister? 10.30, the bank teller says. Ten thirty. Ten thirty. Benny knew business would be a full swing then. He thought fast. Listen, you blank bank clerks. I'm gonna let you do a little honest work. Get in your cages and take care of the customers when they come in. I'll even lend you a few hundred for petty cash. Ho ho ho. I cut the wires in the joint so don't try to call for help and keep your noses clean with the trade just remember we're both dead shots none of the 40 depositors that morning became suspicious finally 10 30 arrived and the vault door slowly swung open 1030 Benny should be a should Benny should be in the vault by now huh if these yokes only knew a robbery is going on under their very noses she says get another guy and carry this swag out to the car oh that's a big bag of money that's a big vault Look at that. Take these guys and the dough out to the car. I'll be along in seconds, Benny says. Before Benny joined Stella and their hostage hostages, he casually strolled, toward, strolled towards the teller's cage and left a final uh, frightening order. We're taking two of your men with us. So, if anyone squawks before we get away, I'll kill them both. So long. Like a guy, he's sweating. The bandits once more made a clean getaway. Better dump these two characters, Stella. We're nowhere near a telephone. The police will get the, the tellers. He's waving his hands. The police will get you rats yet. You won't get away with this. Ha <laughs> ha. What a sweet job that was, Benny. It went like clockwork. That's Stella saying it. Benny and Stella got got away with almost 50 grand during the month that followed during the month that followed they lived in grand style on thanksgiving day they were pr preparing to leave a tourist cabin where they had made a brief stop the local cops got a lead through that hot car i ditched we'd better move fast then stella says there he is that that's Dixon Dixon stop you're under arrest you'll have to catch me first copper look at a bolt look at that and there goes Stella in the other direction what the hell cops are going for their guns
firing at them. Bam, bam. Stella beat it in another direction. I hope she makes it, he says. Bam, bam, bam. I got him in the head. I don't think he'll get far. Oh, wow. Did he get him in the head? Let's check it out. Oh, he did too. Look at that. Ow. Oh, the dirty flat foots. That last shot almost tore off my head. Look at that. Despite his wound, Benny managed to escape arrest. The next day he found Stella at a pre-arranged rend rendezvous, rendezvous where she hid under a bridge all night. Did he give you much pain, Benny? Stella asks. Ah, oh, it's just a flesh wound. Finish up and let's get back to the car. I'll fix those cops, Benny says. Well, I think it's smooth sailing again, baby. Now we can spend some of this dough. Save it, Benny. There's a patrol car chasing us. Will you? shot at bam bam hang on baby I'm putting her down to the floorboard I'm hit but keep going keep going I'll get him oh they just nailed the uh, nailed her look at that the side of Stella's head was bleeding profusely but with an earring aim she blasted away at the pursuing car with her rifle bam 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 crack i'll get their front tires that'll stop them nice shooting stella and nailed them you nailed them they went right down the ditch look at that The Dixons decided to abandon their car and appropriate a new one from the first passerby unlucky enough unlucky enough to cross their path. You call that junk box a car? Who has a new car around here? My neighbor down the road has a new new model. They're sticking them up for this little old beater. They're being picky, they don't even like the car. Look at that. You two young no gooders regret this. Kidnapping is, kidnapping is a serious offense. Shut your trap. Hey Seed, watch those ru ru rubes closely, Stella. Late that night, Benny and Stella raced along the highway in the neighbor's car, taking the two farmers along to keep the alarm from spreading. Uh -huh, so they kidnapped both farmers. Look at that. At daybreak, the Dixons found they needed a faster car. They got one by using their usual nefarious method. There's no room for the new bird in here. Okay, I'll stick him in the trunk. Oh no. Then I got three people kidnapped now. Damn. When it was considered safe, the outlaws rough, roughly dumped their hostages on the road. The Dixons later left the stolen car and bought an old secondhand model. Where are we headed for now, Benny? Dixieland, baby. I'm setting the course for New Orleans, he says.
The G-men will never find us here in New Orleans, will they, Benny? She asks. Ah, uh, they're probably r running in circles following crummy leads, baby. Ha 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 ha, Benny says. Benny was right. The FBI wasn't idle. They were tracking down every lead that presented itself in any part of the nation. In California, how long did they stay here? The FBI asked. Why, just a few days, if I remember right. In Minnesota, when did they leave? Oh, I'd say about a week after they came here. The guy says in Kansas, did you know Stella May Irwin? Yes, but I don't know where she is now. Are you one of her old boyfriends? In South Dakota, that was on October 31st. Yes, one of my bank clerks and myself were thrown out on the road by them after they w they were well out of town and in indiana then what happened can't rightly say mister i saw the car tear plump crazy like toward the highway The FBI investigation was through. No detail was uncovered. The trail of the Dixons was clear clear now. The G-men were ready to close in. Yep, here it is, in this bag of pears. Where did you get this little girl? A pretty young lady with yellow hair paid me to deliver, deliver these groceries. Stella May Dixon. The note found in the groceries was a message from Benny Dixon arranging a meeting. A meeting with a pal. It became it became instead a rendezvous with justice. Hamburgers. It's Dixon. Careful. He's dangerous. Let's get him. The FBI guy says. I'm just gonna check something. Yeah. So they got him cornered. Hamburger place. Harry's Hamburgers, I think. Oh, look at this. All right, Dixon. We're FBI. Let's go. Don't try anything you'll be sorry for. You'll stop lead before you take me in, Dixon says. Oh man, they blew him away. Why you dumb thug? Ah! Oh. Just destroyed him. Stella was in a nearby car and saw Benny die. She quickly drove off and later abandoned the vehicle to catch a bus to Kansas City, but the G-men were right behind her. Stella, unlike Benny, went quietly. Her spree of violence was over. Stella May Dixon, you've been found guilty, guilty as charged. Ten years in prison was Stella's sentence. That was on August 21st, 1939. Just five days before she reached 17, a young girl who, who, who sought thrills in crime, she soon found out that crime never pays. I wonder how much of this is uh, actual true story. Nice storytelling. I found a jump from here to here to be a little jarring. For 15 years old, she got married to a 27 year old. 
Man. Man, oh man. There's a little rip here. Right. Yeah, and Cheryl on our chat and our live, say, our live stream saying the whole truth. <laughs> FBI style. The guns and Jesse James. What? We got a Jesse James story here? No way. You gotta be kidding me. We gotta read the Jesse James story. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, let's read a Jesse James story, gang. Oh yeah, look at this cowboy land. Let's do, let's do. Very cool. The guns of Jesse James. Liberty, Liberty Montana Bank, I guess. M.O. Bank. The senseless bloody story of a man who was not the man you think he was. Love the guns. Look at that. Look at that. Bank. Look at that guy scared. Where is he shot? I think he's just scared. Looks like this could be MT is supposed to be Montana from people are saying in the chat. So it could be Missouri. Liberty, Missouri Bank. Interesting. Let's check it out. The guns of Jesse James. Loves the six shooter. Look at that. Snap. I'm breaking up a slew of little tin heroes. Cousins pay cousin. Cousins pay attention. What's he doing? He's a cop. Breaking up little toy men. King heroes, long dead characters who were all bad bets, but to whom the passing years have handed out halos. For example, take Jesse James. Today he's often thought of as a Robin Hood of the West. Oh, so he's telling us a story. But James was actually a brutal hoodlum with a black heart and a bloody record. Jesse was born in Missouri, nice, in Missouri in 1847. At the age of 20, he organized a gang of desperados and appointed himself leader. He specialized in male, male train robberies. Look out, it's ready to blow, Jesse says. I'm assuming that's Jesse. Jesse James was a terrorist. He carried out his lawless plundering completely without regards for the lives of innocent bystanders. He created train wrecks which killed or maimed countless passengers. That would be really destructive.
a hold up it's the James gang oh he just shot up oh. kind of noisy ain't you pop Start with the mail car. Pronto. Right, Jesse. Robbers. Cutthroats. Help. That's a passenger in the passenger car. Look at that. Hanging out the window. Bad idea. Bad idea. Look at that. That's not a good idea. Oh, yeah. They took him out. Ruffians, mur, uh, zing. Pew. Man, don't hang out the window when they're robbing the train. The James crew turned the bank jobs and turned to bank jobs and their victims mounted. This FBI guy, police guy, is telling us a story. You scoundrel, you, ah, uh, bam, right in the head. Shut up, Mr. Cashier. Get the safe, boys. Oh, look at this guy, that's beautiful. Look at the artwork on this. Look at that. That's like an expression and a half. Good shot, Bill. Bam, oh, they're just killing him. Jesse's most trusted friend and henchman was a boyhood chum named Bill Ford. Bill was a crack shot. Ah, oh, I never miss a one, Jesse. You know me. The gang, the gang numbered six, Jesse, his brother, Frank, Bill Ford, and the three younger brothers, every one a killer. After dozens of jobs, the boys grew bolder they decided to invade new territories that as the events developed was the beginning of their downfall hornfield minnesota sounds like a watering trough will haul in plenty huh ford it's about time we branched out jesse we we've about cleaned out missouri ha 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 All right, gather around and we'll go over the map again, Jesse says. Main Street, Bank, Fork in Street. <laughs> That's detailed map. Bridge, Northfield, Minnesota. Northfield, Minnesota. X and X. I guess that's where they're going to be uh, stationing people. Right. And there's going to be one person. There's an X on the bridge as well. Right there. So I'm assuming they're going to be stationing someone there as well. Let's check it out. Now, one man guards this bridge for the getaway. Two stand guard outside the bank. And three, three of us go in for the dough. Perfect, Jesse. Perfect. I mean, what could go wrong with that detail of a map, eh? <laughs> right? It was a hot day in 1867 when the big uh, fracas got underway. Fracas got underway. 
Here's the here's the bank up ahead. Now, work fast. Hop to it, boys. Raise them high. This is a stick up. They burst into the bank. They're just killing people left and right. It was a little little guy by the name of Marv Albert who started all the trouble for the James boys. No, I won't open the safe. Not for Jesse James or anyone else. You rotten coward. Oh no. He's gonna get blown away. Ah oh, wow smart fella real smart uh oh meanwhile across the street in the dentist's office ow oh, take it easy doc dentist blam a shot from the bank oh i wonder if that's the sheriff what what jesse hadn't figured on was that northfield was a town of hunters and everyone owned a gun <laughs> nice here sam grab a gun it must be a hold up awesome everybody's armed bad idea to go create chaos get back or you were all push up cactus it's the james gang robbers murderers wow they're coming after him it was then that the shot from the dentist's office started a small scale war between the gunmen and the irate townspeople what the they're shooting at us ah oh, one of the james gang members that ah, blah taken out bam right in the back Look at that, look at that. These yokers mean business. Let's make tracks out of this town. Let's go, Jesse. Are they coming out with the money? They got they look like they got bags. Yeah, they got bags of money. They're coming out shooting. Every merchant in town op town opened fire. The James gang suffered disastrous casualties my back ah oh, they got lippy lippy's down look at all the guns coming out of the windows oh we got the little kitty cat wanted to come in woke up <laughs> a little gunfight with a little kitty cat meow going on cold hard cash cold hard cash look at this look at this Leo, <laughs> we're reading Jesse James Kitty Cat. Look at this! Look at this! Bam! 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 Nice drawing. Nice panel, by the way. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at the face of the horse. nice panel Jesse we dropped the cash oh no they dropped the cash did they do we see it drop in here no but they dropped the cash Jesse we dropped the cash what why you stupid nuts come on ride hit leather out of this hornet's nest bam bam they're firing backwards only the two james brothers and bill ford survived that jamboree but jesse didn't have long to stay in the social swim look at that look at that this guy's got some nice uh, toy men here i mean, seriously <laughs> telling the story let's check it out 
on April 3rd, 1882, Jesse bought a home in St. Joseph, Missouri, and undercover moved in. He was a hunted man at this time. Look at that. Look at that poster from the governor himself. Woo wee. That's a hog's heat head of money, all right. What do they post? What do they post? $10,000 reward. Dead or alive, Jesse James. Back then, 1887, $10,000. That's a lot of dough. That's a lot of dough. Man, oh man. Bill Ford. Bill Ford, Jesse's most trusted friend, was one of those who saw the poster. 10,000 berries. A lot of money. A powerful lot. Jesse James, dead or alive. Hmm. Well, Jesse, well, well, well. Oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Meanwhile, Jesse was enjoying the role of Lord of the Manor. If I'm gonna have my own home, I might as well fix it up, put some junk on the walls. Huh. <laughs> He's got a little thing. God bless this happy home, he says. Oh my, oh my. Ha ha ha, what a tearjerker. The Kyos forgot to dot the I. Did they forget to dot the I? Ah, they forgot to dot the I. Huh? Jesse James. Oh, man. Look at what's going on. Jesse, can I see you a minute? Look at that. That you build forward. Wait a minute. I'll come down. Never mind. I think I like this angle better. Oh man, look at that. Takes out Jesse James, his best buddy from childhood. Ah, oh, you'll make a beautiful corpse, Jesse. Look at that, look at that. And this was the amazing climax to the story of Jesse James. The bullet that pierced his scheming heart had also gone through the sign. <laughs> and the eye had finally been dotted. That's like Hollywood drama right there. The eye was dotted. Look at that. That went through his heart, dotted the eye. Definitely Hollywood screenwriter. Funny. And here is the copper telling us the story. And that's how Jesse cashed in his worthless chips. Not like a knight in shining armor. Not like a hero. Not like a Robin Hood. Scratch. He's gonna light his pipe. And he throws the Jesse James doll or soldier into the garbage bin. But like a two-bit killer. A stum stumbled bum whose best friend thought enough of him to drill him through the back not a tin hero but a tin horn a genuine tin horn cool <laughs> Jesse James I wonder if that's true just uh, his best friend took him out but how is he gonna this guy how is he gonna collect the ten thousand dollar reward he was also wanted right How's that gonna work? Fun, 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 fun. How are we doing for time? We got about half an hour left, gang, for a reading. What should we read? 20 men saw him die, yet there was not one witness to tell of the death of the gambling king, gambler king. Look at this. gambling story that's not bad if we read a gambling story what else we got that's one story look at the phases here that's trippy look at that someone's doing psychedelics and doing some artwork look at that yeah 
Here's an ad. The Spark of Murder by Alan Stand. Oh, look at this one. Bring me his corpse. So we got this story. We got a lady in the story. Oh, what's this one? Spirit Swindler. I was the front for the merciless Spirit Swindler. The bring me, the, the corpse looked pretty cool. Ah, oh, there's a rip here. This one is a longer story. These comic books were well worth the the money. Lots of stories. Camera ad. What is this one? America's greatest zipper billford bargain. Billfords are printed in breathtaking color. What is this? Never seen this before. That's weird. What is that? Sensational value. A handmade all round zipper built for brightly decorated in stenciling color. Illustrations show here, here with our faithful reproduction showing the beautiful color scene embossed on these billfords. Can't rub off other exclusive features include built in zipper, change purse, deluxe pass case and roomy currency compartment satisfaction guaranteed or money back rush your order and picture choice on the coupon below so i guess these are wallets it's a wallet right it's a wallet so it's a wallet with designs on it it's the first time we're seeing this ad losing weight ad a camera scoop complete taking picture taking picture making outfit cool let's read the billford let's read this story what was this one bring me his corpse let's read this one and we'll end this reading with this story. So there's two stories here we're putting aside. Oh, this is a violent story. Look at that. The panel in this corner, but we'll take a closer look at it. Let's take a look. And it's a beautiful rainy day, gang, gang. Seriously, so nice. Bring me his corpse. 1922. August. Let's see what this is about. How good, how good a detective are you? Here's a chance to match wits with the nation's best. See if you can find the same clues as Detective Sam Carter did when he tracked the cold-blooded killer. Bring me his corpse. What is this one? Call me crime. See if you can solve it. Okay, let's check it out. What's this guy? I'll take care of this tigress. Now, get going and bring me a corpse. What? What is this guy doing? What does he want a corpse for? The gun. It was three o'clock in the morning of August 13, 1922, 
in Lakehurst, New Jersey, when two railroad workers were startled by the screams of a woman. Did you hear it? A woman's scream? It came from that flat over the grocery store. Let's go. When the workers arrived, they found the door locked. It was locked from the inside by an automatic safety hatch. Please help. Break in the door. I can't get to it. This is the apartment. The door won't budge. Together, now, off. Great Scott, look, they cracked open the door. My husband, oh, my poor husband. She's suffering from shock. I'll untie her. You look through the rest of the apartment. When the railroad workers reached the bedroom, he was shocked to find the body of William Giberson, owner of a local taxi company. Oh no. He's been shot, a bullet through the base of his skull. Better call the police. Oh no. Let's see if I can focus it on that. Ah, oh, I guess the murder scene is blurry for us. feet on top of the bed too poor guy the local authorities were summoned and the widow described a grisly grisly crime it was a little after 3 a.m. I was awakened by a noise from the front of the apartment go on miss Giberson I walked into the kitchen to investigate and discovered two men. Help! Help! Cut that screaming, sister. Better gag the dame before she wakes up her husband. The guy says. One of the men bound the gag, bound and gagged me while the other drew his gun and get into the bedroom and take care of the old man we don't want any fuss oh that's what he was saying bring me the corpse he was telling him to go kill the guy oh man look at this that's pretty violent then i heard a shot as you know my husband died instantly this will shut the guy up now Let's find the loot. Oh man. I see Miss Gibbs Giberson. Then the thugs found seven hundred dollars in cash and fled. Yes, my husband had sold a taxi cab a few days ago. The marauders must have known about it. That's... Then Sam Carter, chief chief of detectives in Burlington County, New New Jersey was called in to investigate. Carter had, during the past 33 years, sent more than 100 murderers to the chair. He was noted internationally as a master of solving crimes by using the psychological approach. This is the Giberson apartment where the crime was committed, Carter. I see the guy smoking a pipe. Anybody smoking a pipe must be like a true detective.
it's impossible for anyone in the kitchen to see anyone in the bedroom although one can hear sounds from one room to the other yes sir that's the layout the cop says mrs gibson's told carter the exact story she had told the police after the murder then tell me mrs gibson giberson what kind of voice did these men have low or gruff why yes how did you know low and gruff why yes how did you know she says they usually do now when did they do their talking and what did they say they didn't do any talking until until bill my husband was shot and then and then the man who held me in the kitchen shouted to the other man why did you shoot him and the man in the bedroom shouted back i had to he was waking up she says and this man who was holding you what did he do then he tied me up then joined the other man in searching the place she says carter puffed reflectively on his pipe then he glared at the calmly widow tell the truth mrs gibbs giberson you killed your husband you admitted it in a short time ago but you didn't realize it puff puff the smoke rings come up to the reader detective carter had trapped mrs Gib giberson in her own trumped up story what mistake had she made oh i don't know did you guys catch it how did detective carter know she was lying this is your chance to test your abilities as a detective let's check it out let's check it out yes mrs giberson if a robber had been binding you in the kitchen and had heard a shot in the bedroom he wouldn't have shouted to his partner asking why he had shot giberson he couldn't see what was going on in the bedroom so he would not have known who fired the shot your husband must have had a gun under the pillow of course even an inexperienced robber would have feared her husband might have sh has shot his accomplice he'd hurry to investigate ah smart that's what pipe smoking gets you confronted with his reasoning mrs giverson broke down and confessed yes yes i killed him i just grew tired of my husband and thought i could get rid of him and and so get his money oh no not a nice person mrs giberson later produced the murder gun and admitted she had bought a widow's outfit more than a week before the killing she was sent to the pen 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 penitentiary at trenton for 20 years crime never pays for reasons of security the name sam carter is fictitious oh really sam carter sam carter is the detective with the pipe right i believe so yeah right there sam carter was the detective with the pipe pleasant lady indeed someone says cheryl says what a nasty lady got tired of her husband shot him in the back of the head yikes like man like look at the poor guy his feet still on, on the bed like what a ruthless human being she was yeah 
fun read, fun read. Gang, let's call it there. We did three stories out of five, I believe, from this comic, which is great. And, you know, it's a testament to Golden Age comics, really, that there's so many stories in these books. And my little kitty cats are awake and they're jumping around. <laughs> First time reading a doing a comic book reading with kitty cats around. Someone mentioned that uh, during the chat in the live stream, Chicho's mistake was uh, first time with cats. <laughs> I'll have to arrange it so we can do comic book readings without kitty cat interruptions, right? But that was fun. We're almost uh, finished at the. Uh, on our allowed of time for the reading as well, right? A little bit of chaos with the kitty cats reading a crime story from the 1940s, right? Golden age of comics. Fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading, gang. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this back in the Mylar. Fantastic. Great buy. Very happy with this buy. I'm going to throw this into the bag. And I'm going to turn on chat and get back to the live stream and see if people enjoyed the reading. Uh, I definitely did. And these crime comics from the 19, uh, from the golden age of comics are absolutely fantastic before the comic code authority kicked in because there's absolutely no way. I absolutely no way don't think the panel we saw with the guy being shot at the back of the head with the blood splattering out would have been approved by a comic code authority absolutely not right so it's good to see some of these comics in their raw form without censorship kicking in aside from that thank you for joining us for another reading i'm gonna turn on the chat browse chats nice i'm gonna turn on the video fun reading i love these golden age reads man these are fantastic awesome reading awesome reading i know here comes sal and via they're going crazy the one that was meowing was via he's like what are you doing in there what are you doing in there what are you doing in there can i get in there because i've closed it off uh we have our little reading area closed off and it's where my uh, what do you call it crystals and minerals and stuff like this so the kitty cats can't come in here they'll knock the living daylights out of these things right uh, gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies about me not catching them I wanted to stay focused on the reading and then now what's going on you hear that little bang bang in the background that's Sal waking up and they're going at it Elder God, the silent generation were so calm as well. Yeah. Cheryl, Chicho, has it rained yet since you've had them? Are they used to the sound of it in your home? Ah, uh, yeah, they're pretty comfortable with it, Cheryl. Yeah, they're really comfortable with it. They they really like the breeders that we got them from, they did a really good job. Like the cats are very, very well behaved. They listen. Um they play together a lot they're loving like mad like they're cuddling all the time and they play fantastic together and they don't really meow too much uh like via meows when he's he wants to know what's going on or wants you to pick him up and pet him and he's just conversational sal sal is a calm cool cat he he's he's like elder god style like calm cool collective he only gets involved when needs to be involved and all that jazz <laughs> servitory pope grimy i was waiting for a cat claw to help you turn the page haha <laughs> i was smart enough to close it off we've closed off this area partitioned the house into cat safe areas kitty cat safe areas kitten safe areas and there's areas that my workspace and my comics they're not allowed and certain area that we got too much stuff laying around for little kittens to be around the meows made me happy awesome cheryl awesome yes that's me sal is a true war sal is a true warrior and he's crazy fast like he's faster than via and he's like relentless 
when chasing the toys super cool super cool gang should we call the stream but before we do don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity support him and wikileaks for more information you can go to wikileaks.org and you can check out our playlist on youtube where we got a lot of videos uh readings of the leaks as well as discussion of what's been going on with julian assange and wikileaks such a good read fantastic read very happy that we got this uh, uh this comic book and i think it was a uh, it was a fantastic deal it was definitely contained a panel that definitely would have been censored after the comic co code kicked in jack kirby joe joe simon cover um bill draught artwork from from prize publications gated uh, graded in mid-grade at uh from 1947 and graded at four uh can't go wrong i want to keep my eyes on these uh types of comics uh i do have a handful of uh crime comic books as you know but i'm gonna keep my eyes i, th I don't think i have any more headlines other than this one and my now um, the number 74 that we ended up getting so i'm going to try to get my hands more of my more of these comics right someone was decapitated whoa okay we're going to leave that stuff uh look to later it was all the time for friends this is a typo right the music the music lowest lane tomorrow lowest lane tomorrow gang we're reading the first silver age appearance of catwoman from DC Comics, right? In Lois Lane. Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. And gang, we're not gonna be running a poll. So if you wanna be on this reading from the get-go, we're probably gonna start the reading within 15 minutes of going live, 10 to 15 minutes of going live, because we don't need uh, to run a poll, right? Awesome. I'm surprised this ended up being the last comic book we're reading, to tell you the truth. Plus, seeing a Jack cover that's not Marvel or DC is cool to see, indeed. And Jack Kirby did a lot of romance and a lot of crime comics, a lot of romance comics, and we got our hands on some of those as well, right? But Catwoman tomorrow, gang. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. PST, my time, 22 hours from now, we're going to read this baby. Bye, everyone. And Cheryl, thank you for running the poll. Oh, hold on. I got to do my little outro. Speedy Gonzalez style. Where are we at? Gang, I am on Patreon. We are live streaming on Twitch. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, LOVK, Gab, Parlor when it comes back online, and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page that you can join uh, and participate in the discussion that a lot of people are participating in, sharing information. And you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want. And in the chat, type in exclamation mark social. Thank you very much, Elder God. And all the links will pop up, including the link for Discord that you can join. For live streams where we don't have any visuals, we upload the audio to SoundCloud as a podcast. And it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, BitChute, and rumble and if you have enough money we'll load it up to odyssey as well and what i'm going to do i'm going to take out the segment where we did the reading and upload that uh, first and at some point i think we'll upload the full stream gang i hope you have a fantastic day bye everyone